In this video, we're going to go over the item master list. This page is one of the most important in iPoll as it displays and allows you to modify your inventory and the items therein. As covered in an earlier video, the item master list is a default homepage, so it's likely that you saw this page when you first logged in. If not, you can find it by clicking on inventory and then on item master list under the inventory header. First, you will see the filtering buttons we talked about in our navigation video. You will also see four hyperlinks, definition, filters, print, and export. These are advanced features and topics for a later video. We will also see the create item button, which is the topic of our next video. Below these headers, we find the item master list itself. Each entry begins with two buttons, the edit button, a pencil, which allows you to edit records, and the label button, a tag that brings up a barcode entry for the item when clicked. After that, we have the item ID. The item ID itself is a unique identifier for a particular item in your warehouse. You can't have the same item ID for two items. Clicking on it brings up a screen that allows you to check and uncheck warehouses. When a warehouse is checked, that item can be stored in the warehouse, otherwise it cannot. After that, we have the category, and description of the item. The description is what the item itself is and the category is something that can be helpful for searching. After that, we have three more buttons. Image brings up a picture of the item. History brings up the audit trail entry for an item. And the reorder level button brings up information relating to automatic purchase orders. When you make an automatic purchase order, if your inventory of an item is below the reorder point, the automatic purchase order will buy some multiple of economic order items up to the fill to amount and then generate a purchase order that you can use as you would any other. Monthly demand and lead time are purely informational for your sake and aren't used by the automatic purchase order generator. The supplier field determines who the automatic purchase order will buy from. Then finally, we have these fields relating to stock. Available is the symbol calculation of the amount in stock minus the amount on hold or committed. Clicking on the in stock number shows you what groups the item in stock is in and where it is being held. On order brings up the purchase orders that the item is on. On hold, although we don't have any examples here to click on, would show why the item is being held and committed will show on what orders the item is committed. These are either shipping or work orders usually. In the next video, we're going to go over editing and creating inventory items.